I'm with Ed Bannock, three-time NCAA champion, four-time finalist at the University of Iowa, and probably the stat that you like most, 73 career pins at the University of Iowa, 1984 Olympic champion. Wanted to ask you a few things about your career. When you look back at it, give me maybe the one or two guys that uh, that you like competing against in college. Well, obviously, Mark Schultz and Mike Mann were two very uh, difficult wrestlers for me to wrestle. Uh, early on, uh, Dave Allen at Iowa State uh, was very difficult to wrestle. Um, but no, I'd say the matches that I had with uh, Mark Schultz and the matches I had with uh, Mike Mann were probably the two that stick out most. You're a pinner. You went after it. You had a lot of scrambles. Describe how you got to that style because it was so exciting. What? Well, I... I scrambled and I kept scrambling so much so because you never stopped wrestling, even though you may have been, Gable was great at this. He may have been 90% taken down, but in his eyes, he was 10% out. And so you just kept working through the situation and you get an escape. And there was never that definitive 100% control that the official was looking at. So they never awarded the point until you finally got the 100% control. So the whole idea was to never stop wrestling. It's only seven minutes. People say, well, you know, you get so tired wrestling hard for seven minutes. Well. Really, when you think about how much work you put in that week to wrestle seven minutes then the weekend, you better, yeah, I mean, there's, you have worked an awful lot of hours to put in the effort for seven minutes. And so you gotta you know, put the pedal to the metal and go as hard as you can for as long as you can. If they can keep up, great. If they can't, well, you, you know, ended up scoring a lot of points at the end of the match. Where'd you get the nickname, The Horse? <laughs> okay, well, there was a program called uh, Mr. Ed the Talking Horse. And obviously that was what the theme song was about at the University of Iowa, but uh, Lainey Davidson was a Hawkeye Wrestling Club member. And uh, we were talking and he goes, oh, you're just like a horse. When we we, we would run uh, around the uh, Finker, or Finkbine Golf Course and there was a hill and I was running up that hill and I was, I was pushing it and he was behind me running it and when we got to the top he goes oh that's like a horse running up a hill kind of galloping running up that hill and it stuck and uh, that's how I got the name horse and then the theme song from Mr. Ed the Talking Horse a horse is a horse of course of course became you know part of the introduction of, of me to my bout when I was wrestling at Iowa. You had your brother there as well 1984 Olympic champion two-time NCAA champion Lou what was it like having your brother there to compete against day in and day out? Well, that was very, I mean, Louie worked out at a very high level. And so if you're going to work out with him, you better be prepared because once he stopped or started, you're not going to stop. I mean, he just goes and goes and goes and you try to keep up. Uh, then I also had my brother Steve there later on. We're at the same weight most of the time. So it was kind of, we didn't always wrestle a lot in practice, but it was good to have the, of all three of us there at the same time.